Yo guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? Alright, so, uh, what the hell? Oh, I don't know what happened here. Oh, did they start the race? Oh crap, I jumped out, I was adjusting my settings. Alright guys, so, as you guys probably already know, um, we're dealing with the auto gear ship handicap here, but I've been, uh, kind of just enjoying it a little bit, learning to adapt playing auto and <laughs> just un just adjust to Gran Turismo's tire settings, tire uh, feel, the whole grip feel, the response, everything. It's been, I'm not gonna lie, decently enjoyable. I think just gotta put more time into it maybe. Um, I don't really think I can put the time into it F1. <laughs> uh, the game is just really bad. Uh, just, I'd rather just opt out, just go through the, the pains of having to deal with uh, a buggy drive hub connection <laughs> to Grand Turismo and play F1. What's going on, dude? What's going on, y'all? So, uh, we're going to be streaming. We're doing a extended stream, I guess you could say. Um, we're messing around with some GT with this <laughs> automatic gear shift. No choice, but we got to adapt. Everything else seems to be working. And then this evening, Close to around 10 or 11, we're gonna reshift from unattended to uh, back to PC and jump into some AC for, uh, well, you might try F1 again. Uh, I'll just try F1. Why not? Because we got the Formula One event happening tonight. We have the qualities happening tonight. So it's a good idea to just. Uh, to Aside from not being able to shift manually, it feels decent. Not the best force feedback, but it's better than F1. It's not dynamic, like it doesn't uh, change tension and fluctuate according to road surfaces or your speed. So, it's pretty static all the way through. But, solid. So much easier to do on the wheel. <laughs> Way easier. Bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. The lead is 128. I mean, we were all the way behind because we were just doing these settings. I was just setting everything up to get the stream up. So we're not really involved in this race. Is a casual lobby right now. I'm trying to see how I would do here. And, you know, let me jump into some dailies. Why not? It's almost like a technique now with my pedaling and timing and understanding how the tires feel. I should be okay, even without manual gear shift. So, why not? can feel when uh, your wheels do slip from pushing too much on a uh, brake slip. I do like that. You can feel that. Being able to ride the curves without worrying about death. It's nice to be that good to do that again.
way better than EA's F1. Like, leagues better. Alright, so let's drive more seriously. That's fun, though. You get a manual, man. I'm not even going front. After going down the pit with the, <laughs> the EA F1, I'm like, I will never do that again. Um, so I've come to appreciate this more, even in freaking automatic gear shift. time but meantime thank you guys for sticking around let's just see what we can do with some GT Ooh, Suzuka why can I get this last week or week before so the middle oscillations that were happening before with the wheel in the center is not happening anymore so I think that has to do with the drive up Sensitivity, latitude, but the pedals is really good in this game. It's starting to really uh, like feel, feel it. Very, it's very accurate. It does what you want it to do. I like that. Yeah, that's very nice. And then when you, you are feeling some scrubbing of the tires, if you push it a bit, you do feel it. It's not as refined as a set of Corsa, but it's there, so it's something. And it's more than a set of it's more than competition, it's more than ACC. So that's 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 beats a blank, <laughs> essentially. It feels like I can get away with auto for a little with the GT3 vehicles. I don't think so much with the road vehicles, but I mean, maybe to get some progress. Suzuka!
I didn't know any better. I think I was catching up. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you asshole. Come on now, damn. Yo, my God, and then I, yo, and I touch the barrier, I get a penalty. God, I hate Gran Turismo's system, man. I do not miss this BS. <laughs> Don't touch the wall, you get two second penalty. What? It's in the grass, dumbasses. Why would you put that penalty there? It'd be different if I was wall riding. I clearly am not. So why am I getting a penalty for touching the wall? I'm already in the grass. Stupid designers. And then you go into that like, well, you know, well, the control is nice, but then everything else is around the game is garbage. The whole gameplay system is trash. And it just encourages douchebags. He's doing it. Come on! Come on! The hell? The wheels are straight. What the fuck? My wheels are straight. Why did it do that? Come on, break, break. Which is weird. The hell? I, I deliberately pointed my wheels straight and it still kept going to the side. In, there we go. Hard, right there. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be a douche, don't be a douche. 
be a douche. Thank you. Come on, what the hell? It gave me no response at first, so I thought I could put my foot down. What the fuck was that? Jesus, it was just empty. There was nothing there. Come on now. What the hell, man? Look, I'm nice and comfortable, and it's just like, okay, there's no response. Okay, pedal, pedal. Oh, there we go, it's awake. What the fuck, it's like it just fell asleep. Random. Well, at least I know without the randomness I can keep up. Come on, come on, there we go. Trust me, I understand. Yeah, I know. I was like, is this asshole hitting me? Yes, he is. Excuse me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Break, break, break! The hell? I pressed it like a year ago. Let it work, but damn. Ugh, oh, I could have been better. It's just bad. aggressive because these guys are dummies man just keep running into you or just throw you all off the track damn okay <laughs> it's like that that was fun though it's not bad in auto gear shift I'm not doing that Half bad. Half, not half as bad as I thought I'd be. In fact, I seem to be giving people fits. That's a good thing. Now we just gotta get better, I guess. Well, I guess we do. <laughs> Spa! Hell yeah! Let's go! Spa Franco Jumps.
There's no tire wear in this lobby. Take good lord. I did that. I did do that with really close, so I was gonna have too much success with that. Come on. Bags are us. Decent performance success rate, I'm not gonna lie. Decent. to be already already i can't even get out the damn corner look at this shit man damn i can't even get out the corner jesus all right It's already straight. Come on, come on. Catch up with dicks.
cut the track. I got rammed by four people, literally, but nobody slowed down. But I get a second because I cut the track. Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on! This, yo! The wheels are straight, man! Come on! God damn it! I can't take these sims seriously. I, I'm specifically being careful and it's still slipped out. What the f <laughs> Yo, man, come on! What's wrong with this grip in this game? I made sure my wheels were pointed forward, and it still slipped as if they were if they, if they were turned. Like, wh why? Is there a delay? That's confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't know how to, to absorb the game if it's gonna keep doing that, ra that random shit. Jesus. I gotta deal with douchebags, now I gotta do with the randomness of the accelerator? Like, come on. You, you grip or you not? You make up your damn mind. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, brakes, please. Can't tell if they're working or not. I don't know. I don't think this game has uh, brake warming, so either you are, or you aren't. This race is trash. Like, I couldn't even stay in the damn thing because I kept getting knocked around by douchebags. It throws me off. Then they have penalties on. Like, what? Come on, come on, turn, turn, turn. Yes, it's not, it's like it's this weird understeer thing going on. Like I feel like I should have already rotated and the car just won't rotate. And the same corner, same everywhere in every other title, but right here, it's like it's just is resistant. Like, why? If there's like some pre-programmed understeer me method in here, why is that a thing? Christ, man.
tire slipping till it's too late. Not as bad as ACC, but it's still bad enough. Garbage. Just need to absorb that I need that idea in my head now. Rather than trying to fight it knowing damn well. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Oh never mind. I just killed the server. Still say I'm on racing hard tires if I just what? 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 I did. The hell? Oh come on! Oh. Oh okay, we're keeping it. All right. Damn. Please don't switch. I just got in. <laughs>
still says racing hard. Did it just change my tires back to default racing hard? I can't with this game. <laughs> this is stupid. What is this rid ridiculousness, man? Stop switching me back! What the hell? Jesus. God. There's so many, like, lack of quality of life elements with the way that UI works. It makes it a chore to play sometimes. What the hell is that, man? Sometimes it really makes me wonder if they test this stuff before they release it. So much of that stuff is just basic. We cannot be your bug testers. Sorry. I'm not paying $70 to $100 to be your bug tester. suddenly jammed into second gear. Why did that do all of that just because the tire touched the outside? That was ridiculous. They didn't even give me a chance. The hell? It was like my, what was it, my left rear? And then the whole car just lost all control. Again! It's just touching it and the whole car just twists. What the hell is that shit? What is that? It just touched it. Just for a brief second and the whole car just twists. Like, what the hell? What, what, what the hell is this crap? Come on, man. whole car like because my left tire touched the outside grass so the whole car just goes out of whack
bonnet cam, I can see wider, but I get no sense of the suspension. It just feels like I'm just tracing something across uh, the surface. In first person, I get to feel the suspension. Well, visually, I would say. Bonnet cam, you can't feel anything. It's, it feels almost like it might as well just be a third person cam with the camera's closer to the front than it is to the rear. right now what the hell what the hell what seriously a robo call right now good god man can I get some peace? Like, <laughs> I can't get the damn, I can't I get to enjoy the damn game. I get in first place, somebody knocks me out. Something else happens. Now I'm getting robocalls. Like, come on now. Jesus. Leave the hell alone. <laughs> Why is it going out of control? What the hell? Again with that. Just random. It's just random. Very little. It's 
sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Come on. Try to go inside anyway. You already see I'm going inside, but let's try to dive on the inside anyway like a douchebag. You already see I'm on the inside, so why are you trying to dip in? Jesus, man. Come on, make up your mind. Accelerate.
Not be too slow here, sir. Gotta move. Come on, come on. <laughs> Next course, what are we doing? I see what you mean on GT7 to hold that kind of ACC. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, ACC, like, what drives me crazy about ACC is you, it's, just, it's the two main things. Lack of force feedback, communication with the tires, and the crappy tire method where it just has you sliding everywhere on ice regardless of what temperature your tires are. Um, I found some bits of solutions from the searching around online. Why is this keep yes, Why? Why? Um, but it doesn't solve everything. I can't stay. But yeah, overall, as a package, um, as far as the GT racing, like GT3 racing, like this, no. <laughs> AC and ACC, like, it, it smashes this game, like, a thousand percent, but this is still fun, one, is still fun, and two, it's just got the audience factor, it's got the audience factor. Hard to notice how much Jesus Christ, how um, much behind the curve they are, <clears throat> unless you play a lot of AC and ACC. And after you guys have been seeing me play it for like a while, you very you should, you should be very used to uh, the look, the overall look, even the visuals. Like ACC snatches this. People were all oh, put the hypes in that Gran Turismo Seven was the best looking racing game. And even then, I was like, oh, that's not true. And that's before I even discovered ACC. I just knew, I was like, that's not true. This looks like eight, this looks like Gran Turismo 5 and 6, but it's got a uh, better post-processing. Like, the modeling is marginally improved. Everybody made it seem like it was like, oh, oh, we're not doing Chicago? Okay. They made it seem like it was a huge improvement, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not a bad looking game, but you know, to call it overrated is understated. As far as visual, visual, visual. Gameplay is very different um, from ACC. Uh, as far as the way the vehicles feel, I mean, you have more 
grip responsiveness here than you do in ACC, but it's not as sophisticated either. Um, and absolutely not with force feedback. Like ACC has those issues with force feedback, but it does everything else with force feedback really well. This one is just, it's always like a stiff wheel, no matter what. And the only difference is based on your camber, not really on uh, anything else. So it doesn't feel very alive or dynamic. Ooh, it's like my gears I hear shook down a second, pop up a third a little bit. Oh. In, in, in. Come on, what the hell? <laughs> the brake, they worked and it didn't, they worked and it didn't, it worked and it didn't. Which one? Come on. Ugh. God, being in the dirt in this game is horrifically bad. Sorry. with y'all. This is 
goofy. It's <laughs> Jermaine. <laughs> Status, alright? Guys, you know I'm an auto gear shift guy, right? Like, I can't be, I shouldn't be doing better than you guys. Or did I just gain a wee bit more skill than I'm already not taking into account here? Come on now. You don't know the gears for this section? I'm in auto when I know the gears. And I'm not even using gears. I just know what speed I'm in in order to activate the gears. Come on, dude! Hot garbage. No. Why? Because you had a bad lap? You know how many damn bad races I had with you slobs? Kiss my entire butt. Take it on the chin like the rest of us have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Of course, asshole. Thanks. Thanks, asshole. See what I mean? Can't even get a clean race. Can't. No matter how hard I try. Why? 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 Oh, because of you. That's why. Like, why am I just skidding out of nowhere? Oh, because I'm getting pushed from the rear. So many trash players. You can't get a single race, not one. Brain damage, man. Like, Jesus, yo. <sighs> I ended up twisting them on my damn wheel. Check asses, yo. Don't 
racing hard. Okay, we're gonna realign? Okay. <laughs> Am I I'm the only person in here? Oh. Are you loading in? Yeah, it's just something else. It's spa. Other than spa. Uh. No, I'll say I do miss the immediacy of Grand Turismo. <clears throat> I thought I clicked on Dragon Trail and I loaded into Spa. Maybe I'm bugging. <laughs> so if you change your settings when you go in with the BOP setup, it won't save your settings. <laughs> Alright, Dragon Trail. Now this, I'm not even going to try and think about having a clean race in this course. Everybody plays this course trash. Unless you're like an A class. This corner right here, this turn one, this chicane one, is going to be a nightmare. Watch. And then the death chicane, you'll see coming up shortly. We call that chicane, we all universally call that in GT7 chicane of death. It's coming up. We'll, I'll show you. You'll, you this is going to be impossible for you to miss. Years. I think it's to do with my having the P1, P2 wheel, which isn't Xbox or PlayStation based, it's just default PC. So I think there's some, uh, might be some inputs that it's just not recognizing. Because it can't emulate a PlayStation wheel because it's an Xbox. Uh, Set up. That is the chicane of death. <laughs> I did that so much. I started really learning how to do it for real instead of Corsa. Um, the modern one, of course. I loaded a GT uh, 6. Oh no, GT Sport and GT. Yeah, GT Sport courses into a set of Corsa. And Dragon tried to kept practicing that section over and over and over. And it's like, yo, if you can do it with the Assetto Course of Physics, you can do it anyway. <laughs> because it's unapologetic, and it will kill you. I feel like the way I'm braking is almost as if I'm... I'm I was not, it's not almost as if. The way I'm braking and holding and delaying my braking is, is helping me determine what gear it's going to go in. automatically. It's cool, just doing that. It's another way of controlling it manually. It's the way you're braking. You're intentionally trying to wait for a specific gear and RPM range to work with that. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> I mean, when all the years I was playing automatic gear shift and like bridge racing, um, you know, you don't think about that, you know. <laughs> but here, it's a very, it's a very different discipline, actually. I mean, it's not as good as manual, but 
You can get close depending on how you break it, I'm starting to find. It's very smooth on the acceleration control though. Like that, the way I was able to drag that out, yeah, that felt very AC-like. I like that. I like that. You know, front, I like that. that. makes me want play mode. That makes me want play mode. If I can keep getting that response, that will make me want to stick to playing Grand Tour that I can have Gran Turismo um, as one of my mainstays uh, 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 <clears throat> next to a set of Corsa again. seeing what I was able to do with the, uh, the dampers and that was helping. Um, what else was it? Uh, I started to change up the, not the dampers, the, uh, was it masculine? Ah! There, he made me read your thing to me! <laughs> Sabotage me laughing. <laughs> but yeah, I found some settings that helped. Um, and then when I started to get warmed up, of course, I got, you know, jerked around, of course, thanks to douchebag players. Uh, but there was some progress. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't intentional? I know. But there was some progress. So I'm like, alright, I had to change around the dampers in the front. I had to exaggerate the hell out of all the the, the dials. I was like, all right, well, we're meta, we're officially meta tuning now, so why not? We've been Grand Turismo for years. Why not? Ah! Here. Good recovery. <laughs>
there we go. To the extreme. To the extreme. Oh, I messed that up. I tried it. That was my fault. I was trying to push it too much. Okay, 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 okay. The hell? Yeah, I was trying to push it too much. I should have let off on the. Ooh, an accelerator, but I just wanted to see how far I could push it. Clearly not very far. Let's see if I can put crew chief up for this. Can I get his crew chief? No, 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 no. Not crew chief, I'll butt kick him. Hey, hey. Did they tell you to quit? Who told me to quit? Who's on my? Come on, like the hell. Disturbing me, smooth. I didn't expect that to go that smooth. The hell? Come on, man. Come on, man. Stable and all of a sudden, no stability. Come on, man. Oh, that's what he's saying. Quit. We're going to do a new lobby. Not just quit. Oh. They're starting it, so they're not doing a new lobby. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, 
rolling start. Okay, let's take about this room. Got it. Not that it's gonna make a difference. Everybody's gonna play like trash. From the freaking rear. Yo, man. Just bash me from the rear. Couldn't even get up the damn hill. That's a, just dickheads. Just dickheads. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <sighs> come on, come on, man. Come on, come on, game. Figure it out. Oh, we're just, okay, it's just gonna sit there. Okay, so we just spent this whole time, this whole time, just for nothing. Thanks. Fuck my life. Like, I can't even get up the goddamn hill, man. Jesus Christ. Like, this is like... <laughs> I can't even get up the hill. I can't do anything. Like, this. what's the point? I can't do nothing. I can't get up the goddamn hill. I can't... GT3s because trying to do anything else with the street vehicles is not going to work too well in auto. <clears throat> that's, this, that's aggravating, man. I spend so much time warming up and getting prepared only to get knocked out and just lose all enthusiasm for the shit. It just really just makes me get sick of doing that, man. my play fair do fair nobody does anything clean or fair it's just trash play every damn lobby betting on medieval MMA. I don't even bet on human MMA, so <laughs> medieval MMA would be interesting. <laughs> Jermaine, here comes the trash play. Like, I couldn't even get up the first goddamn hill, man. I couldn't even get warmed up for the race. I keep freaking placebo <laughs> pressing up shift. Remembering that. Forgetting that I I have no gears. <laughs> but then when it upshifts, when I press it, it makes me feel like I'm doing something. So yay, I'm playing! Oh, this would be interesting. I haven't done this in a wheel. What is this, Sardinia? Fun courses. Well, most of the difficult courses are fun. They're fun because they're difficult. <laughs> I like this course though. Forward and on left. Uh, 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 uh. My gears! Still made it though. Still okay.
get to take in the scenery more when you're on a wheel <laughs> rather than on a control, I feel like. It feels good to play Gran Turismo on a wheel, though. Even without, you know, the entire package that I need for it to function properly. But that may just well be because of the wheel face that I have. Or they call it the rim, the rim that I'm using, the P1, B2 rim. So uh, most likely when I get a different one, it may be compatible. Because we'll be able to read all of the buttons almost. No, so the other be all, they would be able to read all the buttons as if, what you call it, they were Xbox buttons. Because I'm thinking about getting, not thinking about, I want to get the, the McLaren wheel. I probably need it for like 200. And it's an Xbox wheel. Um, so as far as the buttons are uh, set up and concerned, you can use anything on PC. But if I'm going to be doing... Ooh, nice. Oh, you ass hat! Wow. People are just douchebags for real. Come on, come on. Just cuz. Just cuz. Because you're a dick. Now you can move me from the room if you like. That was satisfying. I'm trying to be clean as hell. Man. Can't be clean with none of you slobs. Asshole hits me and then he wants to hit me back after I get revenge on him. These guys are dumbasses in this room, man. I swear this community is garbage. Why these people cause trouble? I retaliate, then they kick me out. Yo, man. Like this is like it's just sensitive, just sensitive panty wastes. Like you guys start trouble, then I I don't do anything the whole time. I do one thing, oh, I don't like it, I'll kick you out. Like, get the fuck, yo. I hate the gaming community today. It's just a bunch of little weasels. People looking for power fantasies because they can't get nothing in life. It's sad, bro. God damn. 
You can't cause trouble, start shit, and then I retaliate, and then all of a sudden now you wanna be sensitive and boot me out. What are you starting shit for? Like, go go play Mario Kart, man. Damn. Get some ass. Please. That is ridiculous behavior. Road Atlanta. Okay, trail, let's see, it's probably the same one. Let's see if we can try again. I mean, they're all trash rooms, to be honest, so it doesn't really matter which one I join. <laughs> The margin for success is pretty low. Got the reference. <laughs> Real Racing Roots 99 in, he said, Helter Skelter. Nice. That's one of the hardest courses, too. <laughs> I still got to change my, my right analog throttle brake all day. Uh, outro, though. That's clearly me lying now. <laughs> Starting to enjoy this. Aside from the douchebaggery. Hack racing is right. That's right. PRC, baby. I mean, technically I'm a trader because I'm an RTS driver and a PRC car, but whatever. <laughs> it's all ready to go. It's all ready to go. <laughs> Starting. 
starting to get it. I'm starting to enjoy it. Oh, he's still there. Good. I'm starting to enjoy this. I miss my gears, but at least I'm getting the rest of the experience. And it's pretty damn solid. This league's better than F1. That's for damn sure. I have never been able to do that that smooth on a controller. Straight up. That that corner? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I've done it well, but not that smooth. And that just, yeah, I... Uh, I'm so glad I got this wheel. <laughs> I'm so glad I got this wheel. In, in, in. There we go. Come on, come on, girl. Come on. I felt that. That was my fault. I felt it. I felt it. I felt that. Kingdom for a rear view mirror and bonnet cam, polyphony. Like, why do I need to go into this camera to have a rear view mirror? counting the gears in my head the way I would downshift. So I have to make sure that I break in the timing of my downshifts. Oh, not like that though. on man yo you guys are dicks for real you guys just cannot just go around and learn how to wait your turn to pass you just gotta jam through right oh he waited up look at this dickhead and immediately get hit by somebody else before i even get my damn bearings jesus y'all as bad as the gta community
that space between. Oh. Oh. I don't let that post. I just bump it in there. Get in position, get in position. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Come on! Grip, 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 grip! It's almost there, almost there. Ooh. Oh, my left foot for the break in the sore. I'm gonna take a break. I've been going non-stop. Yeah, but it's only in automatic gear shift. I can't get it to work in manual because I don't think that this uh, this rim that I'm using, the P1 V2 rim, uh, works because it's just straight vanilla PC. There's no Xbox uh, functionality or PlayStation functionality. And with emulation, if you have Xbox functionality on hardware, you can trick it to being into PlayStation functionality. But when you don't have neither, it looks like it's missing uh, some functionality. <laughs> so, for instance, I can't use my gears because my downshift left paddle functions as upshift. Um, the other buttons are all jacked up, and even with the update, it's just not on point. I think it's the deal. It's the deal with my rim, P1 V2 rim. So, most likely, I won't be able to have gears until I get a different rim for my wheelbase. So, I am doing auto automatic gear shift and just timing my rpms as much as possible to the gears that i need to be in um, for each corner it's interesting though but at least i'm still getting a chance to feel everything about the physics system and i, I like it i like it it's yeah it is up there then it's a different flavor. It's the best way to describe it. But if I had to speak objectively, yeah, it's comparable to, I would say, ACC. Um, it's, it's comparable to ACC and AC as far as, uh, I want to say, how detailed the vehicles feel. I'm, I'm, I'm able to follow the same rules as I do on AC. Like, I'm doing the same method as I would do on AC, uh, if I was doing the AC mod for this very same course. Um, so, that can't be a bad thing. Push that. Ooh, fast, but it succeeded. That will never do that again. Oh, I almost died. the wheel rim itself is the rim. I think it's the rim. The drive hub seems to be working, you know. So unless they have some type of a compatibility uh, update to use P1 V2 wheels, which they should, considering it's part of the ready to race package for a lot of people that has a CSL DD right now. My only choice is automatic. You know, I'm trying to make it work. It's still fun. I'm still getting to enjoy the game. I know there's going to be a hard limitation of how much I can enjoy it, but at least with the GT3, you don't have enough have a glass here. I like that I'm able to drive over curves and not die. I'm looking at you instead of Corsa. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, that's nice. I like the way that feels. Oh, I felt that. I felt that, though. That was good. I felt that. I was pushing it too hard. And my wheels started to slip, and I could feel it uh, slipping on the, the wheel. That was cool. That was a cool feeling. Oh, you said, uh, oh, you almost died. Yup. <laughs> oh, you almost died. Yup. Chicane of death, baby. Gotta love Chicane of death. That is fun.
we about to jump back on this shortly. This starting. Oh, I said starting what? 47 seconds? I said 10 minutes earlier. Oh, there we go. Come on, why is it still going that way? What the hell? Why? Why? I'm already facing the opposite direction. Why is it going right? My wheels are turned left. This is weird, man. Stay straight. Come on now. Just trying to have 
some dependability here. Don't start getting stupid. What the hell? Why are we drifting? sick of y'all. Like, I'm really sick of y'all now. I'm really sick of y'all now. Come on, turn! What the hell? understeer thing going on in this game like it's deliberately making me understeer like please stop can I have my full steering stop understeering me come on come on and uh, yo I am tired of getting penalties for touching the damn wall gotta hate this system I am sick of that I touched the wall. 1.5. Like, what retardation is that? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Like, they don't know how to program anything regarding penalties properly, so they just say, you know, because people like to wall ride, we're just gonna make it where you touch the wall at all, you get it, like... But, I'm in the grass, you dumbasses. I have no choice but to touch the wall because I can't turn around. Oh, God, yo. Fundamentals of this game are garbage. So we gotta work what we got. <coughs> uh, what is this here? Oh, Dragon Trail Gardens. that. 
on. Let's slam on the brakes. Yeah, it looks bad. I will not rag on uh, AC modded trees ever again. Actually, I remember doing this a lot with the Sylvia. No, 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 they don't. No, they don't. You gotta wind up. No, I'm not gonna go that far. I play, I play GT4 on it every day. They don't, no, they don't look better. <laughs> These do look better. They do. Because GT4 doesn't have nearly as much detail with the trees, believe it or not. These are not, however, that far away. So I, I agree that they're not that far away. <laughs> but they are, you know, like just enough. <laughs> they do look really bad. <laughs> oh, oh, as I'm passing down the street, they do look really damn bad. Join the, the server to qualify, didn't I? I don't see the countdown. Whoa, 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 come on now. Smooth, 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 there we go. Bad though. Not bad at all. Close for shoe right here.
Come on. Paltry entry. Oof, I am slow. <laughs> Are you like 143? How about 139? Like, oh, well, now. What? Didn't I? Hmm. Uh, seriously? 27 minutes? Oh, 12 minutes. Okay. We got Spa GT3. That's coming up in seven. Why not? Let me try some. Just use our McLaren. Let me use the McLaren. More McLaren buy it than anything anyway. Oh, okay, I think I entered... No, I could have sworn I entered the qualifying time trial. I'm bugging. Could have sworn I did. So, I'm going to have to hook this up. I'm just testing this out with the wheel. I'm going to have to hook this up now. I got to OBS so I can get the proper stream for you guys. Um... I mean, it's going to be missing the camera, but you're going to be at least be able to see the wheel camera. Spas, right? Yeah, man. You start to become a fan of this course now, too, right? This course is dope, bro. I love Spa. I got introduced to Spa from Gran Turismo 7. That's I'm always thankful for it. What's being said? What's in your head? What's in the words that we believe? Come to 
Yeah, yeah, it's an awesome course, man. I love this course. And I learned from it from here from doing, uh, what was it? The spa one hour to get like a million credits in here. And I just said, okay, play it, you know, because it's the most uh, highest paying uh, single player in Mac. Tried it, and I was like, okay, I'm getting it. And then I started really, I was I was afraid of it at first. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> um, these stories make no sense. But then I started understanding the landmarks and the pattern and everything, and I fell in love with it. I just fell in love with it in the same race. I was like, oh, I love this course. This shit is dope. And then when it goes into rain at nighttime, it's so nice. Even in GT7, it's so nice. And I remember I was raving about it the next day after ragging on GT7 prior. <laughs> the prior day. And I was like, this is by far one of the best looking courses in this game. Best playing course. I love Spa. I love this course. What is this course? What is this? <laughs> And then I started seeing it in the other racing sims, like, oh, I am so late to the game. I want to play Spa everywhere now. <laughs> and, yeah. Like, this is my second favorite course next to Nürburgring. Like, it's like Nürburgring, Spa, and Laguna Seca. Well, with high Laguna Seca and Suzuka. And Tsukuba. <laughs> Laguna Seca, Tsukuba, and uh, uh, Suzuka are my, like, Tied for third. <clears throat> what up, Mercy? God, this sounds like somebody's gonna gonna delete themselves. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why is it so melodramatic, man? You need some love in your life. Oh. God, I love this course so damn much. It's just such a nice rhythm. And it's pretty. No matter what platform you play it on, Spa is pretty just from the color setup. The way they have the red, the, the ketchup and mustard, <laughs> red and yellow um, barriers, the light green barriers, the, the strips themselves, these rumble strips right here, with all, all of this curve. It's just so very pretty. And it's simple. But whoever decided to do that and keep it like that for every season is uh, a genius. And Spa is on the F1 calendar this year too. I can't, oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit when they play that when they, when they, when they race that course. I'm gonna lose my shit. When I, so I think it's like uh, actually I gotta see what's the well we got Shanghai this weekend. Um, but it's about tonight. I'm talking about tonight. <laughs> we got the qualities tonight and then the event uh, right, 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 tomorrow night technically. And then uh, I forget where Skip Spa is. But it's on the F1 schedule. I don't know where it is. Four six is my best. Yeah. Will you do Norberg Nurse having GT7? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it after this. Yeah. Can we do that for comparison sake to ACC? Yeah. This is actual great video. <clears throat> That compares Nurburgring in ACC, uh, Forza Motorsport 8, and GT7. And it's one more it compares, but and GT7, while um, was not the prettiest, it was one of the most accurate. It was the second most accurate. The number one most accurate is the one in ACC right now, but that's not fair. It's the most refreshed version.
Yeah, I'll try some uh, Nordschleife on here. Automatic gear shift Nordschleife. <laughs> Tell you one thing, I, what I do like, this, this looks so pretty. I do love uh, that I have to pay more attention <clears throat> to my line work and all of the braking more because I don't, I'm not distracted by having to manually gear shift. Now I wouldn't suggest it, but it's nice. It's, 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 it's nice. It's like going back to the basics and just learning everything the proper way so that when I do get my gears back, you know, I don't mess around. <clears throat> At least that's the idea. Oh, my button, my button, my button. <coughs> I don't remember what button is for my headlights. I'm going to flash my lights. Some fun. Let's have some fun. What the hell was that? Oh no, I'm gonna get a copyright strike for this. I figured since I was streaming, it would have, you know, not used this song. Why am I downshifting as if I have gears? <laughs> Automatic, I just went straight like down, 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 first gear. Oh, wait a minute. I have to this video may get a copyright strike of this song. <laughs> I would say it's not an ACC, but the ACC's time model seems a little bit uh, uh, questionable. <laughs> but I would say it's not as technically advanced as the one ACC or even AC. Or any of the, you know, the top of the line sim. But it does the job well. I hate that I love this song so much. Look at the copyright strike! They're definitely gonna strike it because this is a, a song song. It's not like a gaming song. And even though it's made for Gran Turismo, it's still under like a record label. Like Universal, I think UMG owns this. But this song is so fly. <laughs> then you should have just stayed behind me punk ass I let you take the inside because I thought you were going to take it I'm still letting my tires warm up even I only got two more laps but still
This stream, and I'm, I'm gonna come right back on uh, because I'm technically gonna be using OBS from the PC with uh, Grand Turismo LinkedIn through the card, signal card, capture card. So, yeah. whole section I do so much smoother than I do on a controller. I love doing tight sections on the wheel. <clears throat> Is this jerk going? Chief my head. Yellow flag. All right, let's get these tires warmed up. I have it in my head, even though it's not in the game. <laughs> I still got it in my head. Oh, I wish there was a crew chief set up for Brian's version. Alright, even if I pull ahead of you, I gotta do a, a 0.5 second penalty, half a second penalty, so you're gonna get ahead. Now you have a penalty. Possibly a larger one than me. So now I gotta draft you. No 
Oh, oh, you got nervous, nervous. Nobody told you to break there. You light break there. You don't real break there. What are you doing? You do not do that, sir. It's a light gradual break into there. Like this. Like that, sir. Like that. Penalty. Should be serving one behind me as well, so it should be dead even. Should. Yep, there we go. He just paused. First daily race with the wheel in Gran Turismo. Alright. Okay, right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I felt that. I felt that camera loss. Was enjoyable. Maybe because I didn't get rammed from the rear. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go back to the Sylvia, because the Sylvia is really fun, really smooth to use. Let me see what it feels like on a wheel. Because on the, on the controller, I was like, oh, this car is very simple to use, very smooth. Can I do any changes? Oh, we can tune. Oh, shit. Well, in that case, let's still do that. Right there, that right there. Okay, compression. Put this in rear, but because I play differently now, being on a wheel rather than a controller, I'm gonna leave it as is. Let's, let's taste it first. Let's do a taste test. Oh, wait. The unfortunate truth. Oh.
worst time to change the camera angle. So I like that. I like that I can go flat out with this vehicle um, on medium tires. I don't feel like I have to babysit the vehicle. Again, still. Right. Make a small, make a small. Ah! Ah! Lost my control there. Push, go. That was better. So it's technically a cheat. I did that section better. Push, push, you, okay. You already felt great in the controller. I knew I could push that far.
not gonna lie, this has been a pretty positive experience now that I'm really understanding how to talk to the Gran Turismo game more. This has been a positive experience. I genuinely want to keep playing now. So we got 11 laps. Nice if Grant Turismo did a daily race where they had a uh, like Suzuka two weeks ago. But did they have Suzuka with Formula One? I keep up shifting like I have control of my gears. Was <laughs> that person with the shit? No, Citroen. That's the meta. Citroen. Not me, not me. Hey, hey, hey! Control yourself, man. I'm here to rank up. Pitting? Oh, he's pitting now! I see what he's doing. Because she just said we have to do a manual pit stop. That full turn was smooth. It was. I'm pitting next stop. Next lap, man. Dirty air. Pitting a Gran Turismo. I halfway missed this.
Yeah, especially after seeing me having to do it in AC, right? AC, you gotta land right in a dot. Like, make sure you turn the engine off, turn the engine off! Like, oh my god! <laughs> but there is some hand holding a little bit of AC with it, technically, because in AC1, you can teleport <laughs> to the pits. So, there's that. Yeah, it is manual all the way, for real. But remember, this is a simcade, and this is what actually gets everybody into their sims. You know? Like, I wouldn't be playing AC if it wasn't for Gran Turismo. Even this one. So, you know, it's a... Like, entry bars. Like it's got the physics for the most part, but it's got just enough entry-level stuff in there so it can make it still an enjoyable game. And you can stick with it, or you can uh, end up going to, you know, different games. Keep playing them. I like to play them all, honestly. Touch the brake. Beautiful. Okay. So I have to go deeper in the first of those three. And that's how you get the rest. Yeah. Ah, la, la. Push too hard on the exit. Damn it. Still decent. Still decent. Everybody hasn't pitted yet. So I still have a pit, one lap pit advantage right now. Supposedly, we'll see. So the Citroen did it before me, so it is one pit advantage lap ahead. And I haven't seen anybody else pit, but then again, I haven't been paying attention to the leaderboard. Oh, so, okay, somebody's pitting right now. P10 is pitting. I mean, I'll still be able to pass them potentially because I have more tires now. P11, P12. Or is that the same person? They go, 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 go. Okay, they're exiting the pit now. strategy. Okay, some people are still in the pit. One word on it. They're still behind. And my warmed up tires are not going to catch up to their cold tires.
Wrong time to pit, clearly. What did they do it on lap five, six? too hard as on Sylvia, I wasn't expecting to be quick. I just wanted to see how, because they changed the BOP, got changed up so many times. And Sylvia used to be actually really fast in this course, but not so much anymore. But it's still a comfortable car to try to use. And I can, you know, it's basically. Oh! I guess you could say a more warm up race. Citroën, but let's see what we have that can compete. I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> if I got the Metacar, I got the Metacar, but a lot of times I don't like to purchase the Metacar unless it's a car I actually like. Here we go. 
Come on, come on. Oh! Got that slip, I let that go immediately. Okay, I got flat out that. Push, 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 I like the gradual latitude that comes with the accelerated pedals in Grand Turismo 7. Like, now that I know the differences in feeling between AC, ACC, it feels nice. It does feel nice. Yeah, but I'm able to, you see, I'm able to still communicate with them well. You see, right? It's, I'm, I'm chill. Like, the tires are taking a beating, but I'm chill. It can, it's a testament to how well this game controls. And again, I'm using auto. I'm not even with my gears in manual. Maybe it's a testament how well this game controls. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still able to feel it. I'm still I'm able to have more communication with my tires here than I may I am in AC City. I mean, it's not as good as AC. You know, AC is just god tier. You know. Uh, AMS2, like Automobile Lista 2, is awesome with their force feedback as well. They're like a close second, maybe arguable depending on who you are, you might say they might be first. But this is good, man, this is actually good. Like, I don't got the wheel communication, but I can feel when it slips and I know when it let off. Versus ACC, it just happens and I'm just floating to my death, I'm like, what the hell? Update. Oh my god, everybody with the Citroen. Jesus Christ, guys. That's just so lame. Ah, no CRB at least? Oh well. That's fun. That was fun. I genuinely enjoyed that.
<laughs> how you like your own, how you laugh at your own shit. <laughs> oh God. Oh Christ. All right, this is, this is, this is doable. I think we can do this. I think we can do this with the Gran Turismo. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy with the results. I want my gears though, because you know, for the street vehicles, especially all my road vehicles, that's like the majority of the stuff I got. One street road going car test and damn I think we're gonna jump on some more Gran Turismo I'm gonna uh, set everything up with the, with OBS actually I'm gonna just do that first because as soon as I'm, if I'm gonna jump on it I'm not gonna want to stop all right guys we're gonna be right back um, I'm gonna kill the stream right now and I'm gonna reset everything um, so that you at least can see the wheel or something or other I could probably get it with the camera because the uh, the other camera's not gonna run but we're gonna get one so um we'll be back thank you for tuning in the stream um like and share of course you know let me know what you think and we'll be right back really honestly <laughs> so don't go anywhere damn we were running for three hours that's good <laughs> we'll be right back <laughs> 